So when I think about my papa, I think about how he is my hero. In the seventh grade, I wrote a paper about my hero and I wrote about my papa Fred Ferber. And just seeing him every day and how big of a smile he always has on his face just thinks, just makes me feel so like special to be his granddaughter. And he's just a really good figure to look up to. And when I went to Poland with him, it, I saw how strong he was going through everything. And it just made me really like thankful that, that I have him in my life and that I'm his granddaughter. And whenever I go around and see all of his friends, they always turn to me and they're like, oh, are you Fred Ferber's granddaughter? And I'm like, yes, I am. And I'm very proud to say that I can be because not a lot of people can say that they can. One of the most memorable times um, is when I went to Poland with my grandma and grandpa. And just my the most important thing about my bubby and papa and it, and is just them teaching us what they had gone through. And when we went to Poland, my papa, when we were listening to his story, he went through everything with such detail and I know how hard it was for him. But it really showed how strong he was and it made me it made me think of how much he's like he's a hero to me. Because I wish, like, for me to, if something happens to me, that I feel is like really big or something, I would want to be able to go through it and teach people and be as strong as he was. Even though, like, just watching him up, like, in the video and just seeing him in front of me talking about how horrible that time was was just really like meaningful. Cause, and he was like teaching us about it and. It was just really a meaningful moment and it was really strong and powerful for him to be able to do that. I give him a lot of credit. <laughs> Knowing that I have a piece of my grandfather, Fred Ferber, in me makes me feel like a stronger person. Okay, Knowing that I have a piece of my papa, Fred Ferber, in me makes me a stronger person. Knowing that I have a piece of my papa, Fred Ferber, in me makes me feel like such a more stronger person and makes me feel wiser because just the way he walks around with a big smile on his face and just when he explains things to people or just tries to get them to be nicer, he, does, he never yells, he never does anything. He just explains himself in a very quiet way and he's just so like polite and one thing that Papa has taught me is to be respectful to everyone no matter who they are or what they are even though even if you don't agree with them or don't think they're right you always have to give them the proper respect and whenever Papa answers someone in a way in any way I always think of it as like the perfect answer that anyone can give I always think he's like the top person, like his answer is always right, even though one of Papa's most famous quotes are that perfection is only in heaven. But I think that Papa is perfect. I think my Papa is just perfect. Happy birthday, Papa. I love you. Okay. I'm 10, three more years to my Bat Mitzvah. Papa always has great lessons. He's just so nice. And he's very strong. He doesn't act like he's turning 80. I can't even believe it. I'm like, Papa, are you like 60 right now? I thought Bubby was 60 too. Uh, and because he's so strong, he just acts like he's so strong. And I just love him. He always has great lessons. And he always has great stories to tell us. He always has great stories to tell us. And I love going to Florida and seeing Papa and Bubby. We always have so much fun. Papa teaches me strokes to swim. When I, he teaches me strokes when I swim in the pool with him in Florida. And it's just so fun just being with Papa. When I sleep over Poppy and Bubby's house, 
I just talk to Bubby and Papa, and I just love talking to them, and I always just play, and I love watching Tom and Jerry at their house and Popeye. It's just so fun just being with them. Every time I see my Papa, he just gives me a great squeeze, and I just love it. I love getting squeezed by Papa. <laughs> okay, I love when my Papa calls me Pushka, because I just like, I am his little Pushka. I just love it. I love that name. I loved dancing with Papa when I was little. We always did the cucaracha at his house, and it was just so much fun. I just loved dancing with Papa and Bubby. One thing that my Papa always says is that perfection is only in heaven, and there's no rush to get there. <laughs> One thing that my Papa always taught me is that perfection is only in heaven, and there's no rush to get there. I actually wrote that down in my, one of my reports for school, and my teacher loved it. <laughs> Papa always makes me feel like the most important grandchild, and I am. <laughs> Papa always makes me feel like I'm the most important grandchild, which I am. <laughs> Papa is the smartest person I know, hands down. Sorry, Daddy. Papa's the smartest man I know, hands down. <laughs> Sorry, Abba. <laughs> Papa's the smartest man I know, hands down. Sorry, Abba. <laughs> Happy birthday, Papa. I love you. Okay, three. Happy birthday, Papa. I love you. Happy birthday, Papa! Happy birthday! I love you. I don't like this. Happy birthday to you, Papa! Happy birthday to you. I love you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Papa! Happy birthday to you. I love you, Papa. Happy birthday to you, Papa. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Papa. Mwah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Papa. Papa always taught me that whenever I'm in a bad mood or anything's wrong, I should just pretend to be happy. And before I know it, I am happy and my whole day is going better. Papa always taught me that whenever I was in a bad mood, I should just pretend to be happy and before I know it, my day would be going great. I wouldn't even remember what was wrong. Happy birthday to Papa. Happy birthday to Papa. Happy birthday to Papa. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Papa. Happy birthday to you. Sweet. Okay.